Oh, cool. The new Cannibal Corpse album. Torture. Well, I hope this album will be just as good as Evisceration Plague, so I'm going to give this album a good whirl. So, let's get on with it. So, play. God almighty. Yeah! Hey guys, the Strong Boys 19 here, and for my next album review, I'm gonna do the review on the absolute masterpiece of death metal. And the album that I'm reviewing today is Cannibal Corpse with Torture. This album is absolutely fantastic as hell. It's absolutely intensely brutal, and this album is even better than Evisceration Plague, in my opinion. I already did the album review on that album. So, um, in my opinion, this is the best Cannibal Corpse album that they have made since Tomb of the Mutilated and The Wretched Spawn. This review also goes out to other YouTubers who reviewed this album already, which are Mr. Cannibal Spork, Let's Talk About Metal, That's Not Metal, Nicole Reviews, and Cover Killer Nation. So I'll post their links at the bottom of this video. So anyways, let's get to the album. So I'm going to show you the disc and the artwork in the booklet, just like I always do in my... Um, other album reviews, so here is the front, and um, here is the back, and uh, let's see the gruesome, morbid cover. Bam! It's absolutely awesome, isn't it? Great artwork for this album. So, um, here is the disc, right there, and the CD inlay is this, and I'm going to put the disc back in, and here's the rest of the inside, and here's the booklet, and there's the back of the booklet. So this is the Cannibal Corpse album to return for morbid covers since the 2004 release of The Wretched Spawn. So this booklet shows all of the lyrics and the cool background and here are the masters of death metal themselves. And um, it's a absolutely brilliant masterpiece from this band and Cannibal Corpse is one of those bands that I really idolize. So that's the whole booklet. And um, if you are a big fanatic of death metal or maybe even Cannibal Corpse, then Torture could be the perfect album for you to listen to for non stop death metal awesomeness. So let's get to the other things of why I like this album. The guitar work. The guitar work is absolutely fantastic and I really liked the awesome, brutal, crushing, repetitive guitar riffs and 
even the guitar solos are absolutely killer in this album. So, I really like the guitar solos. They are just awesome as hell. And I just really liked how they could make some amazing guitar riffs and solos for all of these songs on this album. So, the guitar work is absolutely amazing it's really really cool and it is just really creative of any death metal band that would create amazing riffs and solos from any death metal guitarist out there the drums the drums sound really perfect and it's absolutely amazing and you can all hear the bass drum, the snare drum, and the crash cymbals, and ride cymbal, and all sorts of other things on the kit. They sound really clear, and the drums are not highly triggered, they're not triggered low, and it's really, really great, and the drumming from Paul from Campbell Corpse is absolutely killer just like the guitar parts for the album and um, I really liked a lot of the blast beats and the killer double bass that are just fast as hell you know I really liked the drums for this album as well the bass riffs the bass riffs are really cool and I cannot believe what I've just heard at the middle part of one of the songs on this album. The amazing bass solo on the song The Strangulation Chair. When I heard that part, I was like, oh my god, i got to play this again. Because Alex Webster is a big, awesome bassist for this band. And... He really plays the bass guitar really perfectly, and he's one of my favourite metal bassists of all time. Just like Cliff Burton from Metallica, and um, all of the other metal bassists out there. So, Alex Webster is absolutely amazing for playing the bass guitar for this album. And also, the vocals from George Corpsegrinder Fisher. His vocals are really great he screams really perfectly at the highest pitch that he can scream he, and his deep growls are really really great so uh, he's a really cool death metal singer and I really liked Chris Barnes vocals from Tomb of the Mutilated as well but George is an amazing death metal singer just like Chris but George's vocals are more improved in my opinion. All of the songs are amazing. I highly recommend this album. My favourite songs are all of them. This whole album is non-stop, brutal, really heavy, intense and it's a really really great death metal album. The songs that I highly recommend for this album are Demented Aggression, Sarcophagic Frenzy, Scourge of Iron, Encased in Concrete, As Deep the Knife Will Go, Followed Home Then Killed, and The Strangulation Chair. And it's produced by Eric Rutan from Hate Eternal, who also produced Evisceration Plague as well. So, I'm going to give the album 5 stars out of 5. Thanks for watching, rate, comment and subscribe, and there's going to be more great album reviews for my channel in the future. So, rock on guys, and keep it metal.